hello everybody and welcome to our new tutorial today today we have a new application called global mapper i will put the link for this application in the description below once you open global mapper you find four main options our interest today is online source this uh, this will provide you with a lot of uh, free or paid uh, sources uh, this data is uh, land coverage geological data surface mapping terrain data digital elevation modeling satellite imaging and so on our interest now is uh, terrain data which is digital elevation modeling the common source of this data is Aster, Aster GDEM. Try to connect. Okay, once you click or choose this source, you will be directed to the um, the map of of the globe like this let's select uh, particular uh, terrain data which is located in Oman okay now you have the all of this terrain data for uh, the whole world once you choose any any area you can download uh, GEM digital elevation modeling for your selected area but be careful to choose the uh, projection for that area working now projection in this area of Oman the as a world standard WGS 84 and UTM okay in Oman they use zone number 40 okay then apply take some time okay okay uh, depends on the zone you are working you can choose uh, zone number you can check if from Google uh, for example Middle East or Egypt uh, allocated to zone number 36 Saudi Arabia is 38 to 39 depends on the zone but our our zone now for a while is zone 40 then click OK okay let's focus in any mountain here in Oman to download its area okay good let's choose smaller one because it takes sometimes and need some hardware for acceleration for a while we choose this terrain data very small one small mountain on the Arabian Gulf okay in order to deal with this data you have to export export then export elevation grid format you there is a lot of um, formats for output options for our example we now we can use uh, the map plus grid file then click ok ok uh, you can leave this default as it is but for uh, export bounds 
the, the software ask you all loaded data or uh, bounded by lat long or whatever the simplest way is draw a box and we can choose this uh, mountain here. then click OK OK and it will ask you to save uh, the file let's say Oman and save it takes sometimes prints on the internet actually a lot of features or tons of features in this application need uh, more time to explain let's go for betrayal and uh, see what is this file can help us as usual import import a new file uh, and choose the same format like we did we exported in uh, global mapper now this file going to download the file select CRS we know to use the same CRS uh, like we exported from uh, global mapper we choose WGS84 and zone number 40 if you remember okay yes already allocated to Oman then click OK yes when you load this file we can rename the map as uh, you want and template we use the template elevation depth and leave the, the rest the same as it is uh, for negate z value we don't need to negate because we have already positive values in this uh, elevation models because all of these values over the sea level above the sea level then click ok now see the map open a new window then ok this file including the contour map or grid for elevation you can deal with, uh, with this file as a surface let's see what showing in as a contour okay color depends on the value don't show solid for rather for a while okay let's see what is the minimum maximum values for this data from here statistics the minimum elevation is zero as usual and maximum two nine eight meters it's the maximum elevation maximum height of this mountain okay then we can go for color and use the limit and from zero to let's say 300 sorry okay okay fantastic now go back again to style and you can show the contour increment after 10 meters or let's say 50 meters to reduce the numbers okay now it's 50 now 5 yes more dense for a while let's use 20 as an average one okay then click okay Annotation. You can choose uh, contour contour values, but we don't need it for a while. 
then click OK. If you want to calibrate this one with uh, geographic information system, uh, let's go for new map service. Yes, Bing map imagery. Just to see where is this mountain located in. Yeah. Yes, exactly on the shoreline, exactly on the the same location as we exported from Go Global Mapper. Yes. Okay. You can go back and change uh, the setting of the surface or, and do whatever you want. Okay. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.